Hey, Diana, your favorite astronaut. So I want to show real quick some of the little details when you're going to do the EQ mode. I am using the move, shoot, move, wedge, but it can be the sky watcher. It can be other options as I show in already two videos. But I am getting a lot of questions regarding the uh, little plate. Uh, the C-Star has a 3A thread here on the bottom for the little saddle or plate, whatever you want to call it, the, that goes in the quick release. You have to get a little adapter. For example, I have one here that has both of them. And I can use this one too. The one that comes with the uh, move shoot wedge, this one, uh, I find it a little bit short. And it comes with the uh, thread of one quarter inch. But you can fix this easily using the adapters that I am showing here. And check for the links in the description. I am using one that it's a little bit longer, okay? And the trick here, which is the questions that I am getting all the time now, is that in which position this has to go. This is the on and off button that goes to the south. This is another common mistake. The on and off button has to face to the south, as shown here. In this case, my the tripod is already here pointing to the north, to the, towards Polaris. Because this can go in many ways, and I know that this is a confusion. Because if you screw this, put it here, you see, like right there, I am lucky that I got it in the right position. Okay, because now it will fit perfectly here. But sometimes, depending on the thread, it can go uh, on the tight tight part the other way, kind of like on an horizontal position. In this case, it's in a vertical way because we are looking at this way. That is the main fusion right now. So let's say, and I'm going to tie this very well. This is the secret sauce that works for me because I am only using right now this, the telescope around the house. I move it all around. And the latitude is always going to be the same here. So I leave it already in this angle. Why move it when I know that is the right latitude? And then all I need to do is, let's say I'm going to always hold it tight. <laughs> These accidents can happen and they can happen to even the most experienced uh, astrophotographer so it's pretty tight this is a very tough position for the uh, wedge for any wedge but it works really good and tonight is the first night that it's going to be clear in since i tested the wedge another important thing is be sure that the uh, tripod it's level before you start this because i think i got a night that didn't work well and i believe it, it was not level now with the telescope already installed for EQ mode, the leveler doesn't work for me because the telescope is in this position. Um, here on the uh, wedge, there is a leveler, and you can also use one with your uh, phone and app that's, that has uh, to a level, or you can do it prior to mount the telescope in this position. But that is another uh, important tip that you have to consider. Sometimes we skip that. It happened to me in one night with the Sea Star and another night with the Dwarf 3. And I could not understand why it was such a bad imaging session. And both of them, I did not level the tripod. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the best you can. So now that you have it right here in this position, uh, I like to do a rough polar alignment which is with this uh, tripe, one of the tripod legs, this one in this case, the one that faces to the north. And I know Polaris is right here. So I kind of like do a rough polar alignment. And as soon as I can see Polaris, I just do this. I use my eyes. Yes, I do. Uh, and I just look uh, over the telescope a little bit here and point to Polaris the best I can. And that is 
how I get the equal mode fast and all of the smart telescopes that I have. All of it. Uh, I leave the wedge at that angle. And remember that the move should move has knobs for finer adjustments. That is very important for EQ mode, okay? Yeah, and it's getting dark here, and I am getting ready to start to my imaging session. And sometimes I see like a, it's almost like an obsession to get perfect uh, balancing and perfect EQ mode. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get the green check mark from the C star on the app. It's good. I I have done several imaging sessions, and honestly, I cannot see any difference. Go for it. Enjoy your telescope.